Scorpio, welcome back to my channel, Down to Earth Tarot. These are your general tarot messages for the day. Please don't forget to like, subscribe for my daily tarot uploads, and let me know what resonates for you down in the comment section. Let me know who your person is, um, and we're going to jump right into it. Scorpio, what I can tell you is maybe you're walking away with this Eight of Cups. This is your energy here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Walking away from a situation that is no longer serving you. Walking away from something that is very emotional here. Maybe someone betrayed you, stabbed you here in the back with this Five of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn person. Or maybe you're walking away from this betrayal during Taurus season, okay, with this Five of Pentacles. Because we're still in Taurus season right now. Scorpio, I was getting ready to say Pisces. Let's jump right into it. The oh, ooh, the overall energy for your reading, Scorpio, excuse my alarm, is the hangman. So you are completely letting go of something. This is major arcana here. This is signifying letting go of the things that are no longer serving you in a big way. Major arcana. So walking away from something, completely letting it go. What I'm getting is maybe you're even forgiving this person so you can move on, Scorpio. Or just letting it go enough that you don't think about this person anymore. And with this Eight of Swords, could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is the card that symbolizes being stuck, not knowing which way to go. Should I stay? Should I leave? Because you don't have the information or the communication to make that decision here. Somebody has just maybe purposely sending you mixed messages here. Okay. Somebody's playing games, and maybe that's that betrayal. Ooh, you are waiting on an apology here with this page of cups. This is your energy here, Scorpio, water sign energy with this page of cups. This is an apology coming in, or you are hoping for an apology from this person. And either it's coming in and it's going to be a half-assed apology, they're going to offer you a little something, but not quite what you want here. Or this apology is not coming in at all. Maybe you walk away. When you walk away from this person, you're feeling, maybe they also feel betrayed when you walk away, even though they've hurt you. Somebody doesn't want to give an apology here. Scorpio, you have the Two of Wands. Fire sign energy here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is you being at a crossroads here. So with you being stuck, maybe not having the information or the communication to figure out what you want to do here. Maybe you haven't quite walked away yet. Maybe you're feeling this betrayal. But you're at a crossroads. You know that you're at a crossroads. You know that you have to carefully weigh the pros and the cons here and figure out what you're going to do here. Are you going to stay? Are you going to go? Are you going to accept this non-apology or accept no apology, Scorpio, and move on with this person? Or are you going to, because the world is in your the world is your oyster, you have all this, these options in front of you, or are you going to take a chance on yourself and move on here? Scorpio, you have the Five of Wands. More fire sign energy here. This card speaks to a situation that is chaotic. Um, lots of conflict here and confusion. Maybe somebody purposely kept you in a state of confusion and conflict. Maybe they're fantastic in bed and the chemistry was great that way. But as far as communication goes and admitting their wrongs, taking accountability here, maybe they struggle with that. Maybe they suck at that is what, what I'm getting. Underneath this Eight of Swords, Scorpio, is the Knight of Cups. Okay, more of your water sign energy here. This is, again, this is in reverse. So somebody wants to offer you, make you some type of love offer here or come and march in with this apology, but they're very slow about it. And if they do apologize, what I'm getting here, Scorpio, is this person doesn't want to apologize. They don't really feel sorry. They're, they may feel like they don't even know why they're apologizing. Oh, hell no. Scorpio, underneath this Page of Cups... Is somebody needing to apologize to you because they treated you as an option here? Maybe they had many options to choose from here, treat you as an option, maybe put you on the back burner. Could that be this lack of communication information? Maybe they just come in and out and then don't speak to you, ghost you occasionally, and you were hoping for some type of apology. Maybe you found out about what was going on here. But this Seven of Cups, more water sign energy, speaks to a situation where somebody has a lot of options here, many things to choose from, and or somebody was being deceptive, you, keeping treating someone as an option here. Ooh. Scorpio, underneath the two of wands, the seven of wands in reverse. More fire sign energy here. Scorpio, are you giving up the fight here? Maybe you're tired of arguing with this person. Maybe you're tired of going back and forth with this person. Again, you're just tired of fighting. This seven of swords also speaks to protecting your peace and protecting your energy. And maybe that's what this is. We have two sevens, the seven of cups, and now the seven of swords. Seven is a number of perfection here. So this is you figuring out what the issue is. Maybe you put all the pieces together, or maybe the universe has stepped in and shown you all the things that you need to see so you can close out this cycle with this person or make a decision here and just move on. But you're ready to let go. You're ready to let go of this thing. 
underneath this five of wands is the four of cups more of your water side energy here this speaks to a missed opportunity here somebody feeling like they're miss that somebody's missing out on them or they missed out on this special person because they were focused on all of these other things here see looking at this one and they're missing all these cups or somebody was focused on these cups and missing this one take what resonates leave what doesn't but somebody was treating somebody as an option here and somebody's sad that they're being left out in the cold here. Maybe that's this five of pentacles. This person feels like you betrayed them when you walked away. Even though they hurt you, they didn't give you some type of information or they kept you in a state of confusion, not quite knowing exactly where you stood with this person or what was going on. They don't really wanna give you this apology. They feel like they don't need to apologize and you're not dealing with that, Scorpio. You out, you out of there. This, you are out of there. This, this, this alarm, excuse me. You're out of there. You walked away. You walked away. What I'm getting is maybe we went to dinner. Maybe we invited them over, tried to have a civilized conversation about it, and they just wouldn't. Maybe this is ghosting energy, or maybe, Scorpio, maybe you walked away when they ghosted you, and so when they tried to come back and offer you this half-ass apology that you weren't going to take anyway, you were already gone. There was nothing left. It's kind of like the Lorax. You was gone. Scorpio, they had you stressed out with this nine of swords here. Again, lack of communication, lack of information. Was somebody trying to string you along here, Scorpio? Trying to keep you in a state of not knowing what's going on? Maybe they had something going on in the background here. But this is you turning that anxiety, that stress, not knowing what was going on, not having the information, the communication from this person to make a decision here around letting it go. Having the strength, Leo energy here to move on, leave the situation behind, maybe gain some confidence here because there's secrets. Secrets with this high priestess, major arcana here. Secrets, big secrets here. Again, I feel like this person has many options to choose from and they may have many options to choose from and they're leaving you in a state of chaos because they're committed to somebody. Maybe they have someone at home here. Mistress card, Queen of Wands. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. But this card speaks to a strong, independent woman who's focused on her bag. Very beautiful. But this card also speaks to a mistress situation. Somebody might have had you in a third party here. A third party situation. You found out about it. Um, they know that you're expecting some type of communication and or apology about that. They don't want to take accountability. Maybe they're even trying to flip the situation off on you. And when they try to bring you back this half-ass apology, maybe after trying to flip it on you, you're not accepting it. You're done with this. You're done with the situation. It's not serving you anymore. They were too wishy-washy. You're out. Scorpio, please let me know what resonated for you down in the comment section. Like, subscribe for my daily tarot uploads. And Scorpio, I'll be checking in with you soon. Keep it real, Water Sign family.